All right, so I'm going to go over how to use Google Scholar. Uh, Google Scholar is a resource um, that if you don't have access to a main database, you use to conduct research because it'll give you peer-reviewed articles. So if you look up here uh, at the web browser, it's just scholar.google.com is the website. And what you're going to do is you put keywords into the search bar. So say my research question is, um, should the legal driving age be lowered to 16? Okay, so I would put maybe legal driving age and then change. Okay, and I get a bunch of articles here. Now, you can adjust the articles um, over here, you see you can do any time, custom range. I would say if you're going to do any sort of research, it should be in the last 10 years or so, give or take. Um, if you find an article that's like a little bit off, it's fine. Uh, so I'm just going to change to 2010 to 2020 because my topic is time sensitive. Obviously, people 10 years ago might not feel the same way as they do today. This is the same for any science or um, medicine. The only real exception to this, or there are two that I can think of off the top of my head, history papers and literature papers because um, history doesn't change. Uh, once it happens, it happens. And literature is the same, right? Once a book was written, there can be literature published, you know, from a book written 100 years ago, and it might be a little bit different today, but this, the articles published back then are still relevant. But anything else should be in about the last 10 or 15 years. Um, hit search. So we get a little bit updated, short sort by relevance. Um, it's sorting by date. A lot of times you can change to see if it's uh, peer reviewed, but again, we don't have access to a really large database, so we got to work with what we got. In order to open the articles now, unlike Google, you're not going to click this main link because it might take you to a page that wants you to buy something, okay? Um, so you're going to click once you find an article that you like. So let's see if we can find one. Um, maybe so we didn't get great results, so let's see. Legal, legal driving age. Got a lot of, okay, driver's age, driving accident. Okay, so say I want this, right? I'm going to click where it says full text. If there's nothing on the right, then that means um, the article isn't available for free. So if I click on this, it should open the actual article. Go oh, and see this one we need an account with, so we, we can't get into this. Oh, we can't go to the Dubai Authority, I don't know. There's extra protection here because we're in the UAE, which is fine, but not used to that. All right, so you click on the article. Now, if you get to a page like this, it will give you something called an abstract. The abstract, like this little bit right here, is not the actual article, right? They give us the introduction. Um, you have to scroll down, so here the, the results and stuff are actually given, which is fine. A lot of times you'll see um, something like in this area that says full PDF. This one it actually is written out, but if you just see the abstract, that is not the full article. So let's see if we can find another one. Yeah, this is a PDF, so it's a little bit different. And again, this one opened right up for us, which is fine. This is the full article if we scroll down. So we get the abstract, which is just a little baby summary. Then we get into the paper. Okay, so the more specific you are with um, Google Scholar, the better. 
But obviously, you know, you're going to have to play a lot, play around with how you're wording things so that um, you can get the results that you want. Okay. If you have any questions about using Google Scholar, please contact me.